Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is giving out way too much information on the first few dates. Now, this is something that has always baffled me. I never understand why both men and women want to tell somebody they, they're dating, they've just met, they don't know them, about their flaws, their insecurities, maybe some of their past relationships that didn't work out. All these things that really aren't anybody's business. It's also not really a fun conversation to have because there's a lot of stuff that comes with those, those that information. And you don't want to put that out there too quickly because you're trying to see if there's a connection between the two of you. You're not trying to say, okay, well, if they like me after I tell them all this, and that's a good thing. Why would you want to tell somebody the things about yourself that frustrate you? Let them find out who you are as you get to know each other. Maybe you're not even a good fit and you're sharing all this information with them. Please, please stop doing this. Go out and have fun on those first few dates. Yes, you don't want to be hiding things from them. I'm not saying that you should pretend that something hasn't happened, but the first couple of dates, you should be letting them know who you are, the fun part of who you are. We don't want doom and gloom out there or the things that you're dealing with. It's your stuff and you need to deal with it on your own time. We all have insecurities, every one of us, but we don't need to share them so quickly. You're going to find out later if you become a couple. Of course you are. And you'll, they'll probably come out naturally because that's just how it happens. But I watch those guilty of watching The Bachelor and Bachelorette. And I'm noticing on the shows that both the men and women are telling each other these really sordid details. And I'm going, why would you do that? Just show who you are the fun part because we some of our flaws and our insecurities doesn't define us. It's a part of who we are, but it doesn't define our character to being that's the only thing. But if that's the first thing you're sharing, this is what they're remembering. They're walking away from the date saying, wow, okay, I didn't see that one coming. That's a bit much. That's too much for me to handle right now. So what it does is it actually sabotages having more dates going forward because you've already kind of scared them off. It's just doesn't make sense to me. As I said, we all have stuff. Nobody gets away with not having some stuff they have to work on or deal with in their life. If you don't have stuff, you haven't lived. So this is just a natural thing, but we don't need to share every detail with a complete stranger. Please take your time on a date to have some fun, be playful, show the fun, humorous side of yourself. The one thing that I have noticed is a lot of people think with the social media now that, oh my God, I have to look a certain way. If I don't look like that, the girl's not gonna like me, the guy's not gonna like me. You know what I find? The majority of the time that somebody is fun, comfortable in their own skin, playful and confident, that is what stands out. It doesn't matter if they're a size four. It doesn't matter if they, they have a bit of a beer belly. If they're fun, you will take notice. You're not going to put that beer belly in that, you know, maybe she's a, a, a little bit bigger woman. You're not going to put that into the picture because you enjoy who they are. And that's what dating is all about. That's where confidence wins. Confidence will always win over everything else. So remember that. Whenever you're running around on a date, scared to see somebody, scared to talk to them, don't tell them all the things that you don't like about yourself. Because if you don't like it about yourself, why do you think they might like it? And this is this, it's just going to make you more insecure the next time you go on a date because you didn't get a second date. And think about it. Doesn't it make more sense to put out your positive attributes than to share things that you don't like about yourself, your negative traits as you think in your head? To them, it might not be negative. 
It might just be something that bothers you. So don't draw attention to it. Let them get to know the fun side of who you are because they've already got on the first date with you. So something about you intrigued them. So stick with that. Go with that part of the equation on how you guys met, how you had a few maybe texts or conversations before you actually had the date. And, and go with that. Start out that way as opposed to going, okay, well, I better get this out of the way and let you know, you know, all these things about me that I don't like. Please do yourself a favor and stop being negative about who you are. Everybody has great qualities. Everybody has insecurities. We all know that about ourselves and about each other's but we don't have to keep drawing attention to it. Sometimes we only have one date to get it right. We don't get a second date. We don't get a third date. Unless we really mesh with somebody within that first, first time that we meet up together, we're gonna walk away because that's what people do now. People aren't giving each other a chance. So this is why you always wanna put your best foot forward. You wanna talk about the things you like about yourself. Show the confident side of who you are. There's honest and then there's way over the top honest. And I'm saying just don't lie to them. Don't be untrue to who you are. Be authentic to who you are but stop sharing so much. There's also a safety thing here that you have to worry about. You don't know them. You, people can get so much information about you by asking a few questions. And there's a lot of people out there that are questionable. So don't be the one to hand out everything to them so that they have all the dirt on you. Learn to trust them, learn to like them. See if there's a connection before you give out all of your valuable information. Let's not divulge how many relationships we've had, how many people we've slept with, how many you know, com committed relationships we haven't allowed ourselves to be in because we're afraid of it. Don't talk about all the things that make somebody want to run away from you. Because if you're doing that, then you're going to have to start understanding why you keep dating and going back to square one over and over again. This is one of the biggest things that causes somebody not to connect and ask you out again. First impressions are lasting impressions. So be the person that you wanna meet. And at the end of the date, there's been no discussions about anything that's intense. It's just been a lot of getting to know each other. What makes you both tick? What fun things you like to do when you're not on a date? What do you do for hobbies? Where do you go on your vacation? All of these things are what you talk about, not the things you don't like about yourself. Please do me a favor and start changing up your vocabulary if this is sounding a bit like you. There's also some people who tend to talk too much about themselves, about all the great things, and really optimistic about who they are, and that can be a turnoff too. You wanna make sure that the conversation's always reciprocated on a date, and if you feel at one point, maybe I'm talking too much about myself, start asking them some questions and turn it around. Be very aware of how your date is going. It's just, you have to understand, if you're not getting a lot of dates or you're, or you're not getting past the first and second date, there's a few things that you can alter. It's not that difficult, it's just being aware. A lot of people aren't aware they do this, and it is a sabotage, so be very careful. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Please click like on the video and leave any comments you have. Was this you? Have you been this person in your past or met somebody like this? Let's help each other try and change up this dating scenario that can cause a lot of problems. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.